What's up everyone? It is Monday, last week of August. We've been out of East, chilling at home, been working most of the day. Cut my finger, that's what that is. Some sort of Mickey Mouse band-aid. Yeah, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Union Square. Hannah is speaking for Adidas for a Quiet Please new Pharrell initiative. I'm gonna go check it out. She doesn't know I'm coming. Let's go see what she's doing. First though, you get some shoes. A closet. I'm pretty sure this thing could be reorganized, but let's see. Gray pants, no show socks. Probably wear some Pharrell shoes. Might as well support the community, the culture, the movement. sent me these, They're pretty cool. Yeah, we just got home, need to clean up. But. All right. I've said it once, I've said it twice, city bike. Best way to get around this city. Right up at Union Square here. Gotta find a tall chair of some sort. Like a referee's chair or something because she's got a loudspeaker. What's up? Hi, babe. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> Whatever you think. Hannah's about to get on this thing. I'm getting nervous for her. I don't even have to get up there. It takes crazy courage to get up in front of Tons of people, just tell them what you're thinking. It's one thing to be at an event where you get asked to speak and everyone's there for a certain reason, but sit in the middle of Union Square, New York City. What's up, New York? How are you? Woo! I'm Bronfman, and I'm a native New Yorker, and we all know that in tennis, you know, they start every game by saying, quiet, please. Pharrell's whole point of this Don't Be Quiet Please campaign is how to break down the barrier to use our voice for positivity and change. It's really important for people to go back and, and look internally and realize that our superpower is that we are unusually ourselves. The winner is always a part of the answer. The loser always has an excuse the winner always has a program. The loser says it may be possible, but it will be difficult. The winner says it may be difficult, but it is sure as hell possible. She came, she conquered, she did it. I don't know if I could have done that. <laughs> you should have been scared. It's so nerve-wracking to just go up in front of random people and do your thing, but I respect you. You got it done, you did it well. Thanks, babe. It was really well done. Share the voice, tell the people, don't be quiet. Don't be quiet, speak that truth, peeps. Yep, that's what you said. Although your microphone was a little sideways. Okay, well it was my first time with a megaphone. <laughs> I didn't have like a proper breakdown on how to use it. And all I was thinking about is that I had to press the trigger while speaking into the thing. So if I didn't press the trigger, no one would hear me. So that's what I was thinking about, not but where the thing was think pointed. Maybe people think it's self-explanatory so they don't tell you? No, I got a brief on everything <laughs> and they just failed to mention that. Because to me, I think you always just hold it. Preach your voice, but you killed it. 
Wait, so we're gonna get dinner? No, no, we have, uh, look, it's the food bank. Yes, food bank. Man, there's always some crazy stuff going on in Union Square. Skateboarders, chess players, monks, buskers, huskers, just a lot of people. What's up? Should we go to the grocery store? Yeah, well now that we just talked about what we need from the grocery store, I think we should get it. Lots of things. Take this. Seconds. <laughs> Smallest dinner of all time. But delicious. Martina? Next stop, chicken. Honest chops, here we come. trying to eat keto. Yeah, and we're gonna do a chicken salad with a healthy, fatty um, dressing, like a wasabi mayo dressing with avocado, um, because the whole point of eating keto is that you have fat in your meal, because you eat fat to burn fat. Which is so hard to understand, but makes sense. It's supposed to give you that body and that health you've been waiting for. So that's what we're doing. Oh, wow. I'm in charge of the chicken. So is that what you do? This one's making the salad though. Just making a little salad. Mm. <laughs> well, this looks great. My company looks even better. Thank this does you. look really, really good, Mom. I'm so happy you're here for dinner. Thank you very much. In other news, Hannah just got this whim machine. It makes frozen yogurt. That's good. Yay. Okay. Success. And we use a milk that is a plant-based protein milk. So you're actually adding more protein mm. into your... I like to dress it up a little with something, though. I don't know. Should I make one? I already had a chocolate. Come on. I think you and your mom should split one. Yeah, that might be good. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it right there. <laughs> 